Hey up folks, hope you're in the mood for some Eldar shenanigans because there's gonna have to be. You've got Deimos playing as the Warp Spider Exac over here on Greentooth Gorge. A map with a whole lot of valleys and inaccessible areas and garrisons. And so a map where the teleport can be very helpful and he's gonna be facing off against Tex himself. Playing as the legendary Hive Tyrant. So let's see how he fares with all this. Double Homogon's gonna be the opening here from Tex. There's a lot of potential to overwhelm that Warp Spider Exarch with melee early on. But perhaps Deimos will be saved by the fact he is indeed on Green Tooth Gorge, so he's got a lot of garrisons to avoid melee initially. Might make Tier 1 Spore Mines actually useful. Generally, I think they're a little bit too expensive for what they do at the moment. You just want to get them in Tier 2 with the Capillary Towers, where they're half price. I guess when both players must have been playing random, or at least maybe Deimos. Because I'm assuming that Tex is saying that it is a nightmare because he's fighting the Watts Spider X Hack and Green Tooth Gorge, which, yeah, is kind of a nightmare. It's tough. Hive Tyrant here, obviously, eating a lot of shots, but not really achieving a whole lot. Yep, Banshee's coming down. He needs to retreat. That was close to the Banshees starting their melee charge, which has been very bad for this Hive Tyrant. Double gen opening standard for the Eldar that only goes for one Guardian and only one gen here for Man of Faith. Is he going for upgrades? No. Hmm. I guess you get Warriors out optimally if you don't get any gens. But then that would delay your subsequent upgrades. Fashurikin here for Deimos. Gonna be interesting to see if we get the Bioplasma on the Hive Tower potentially. I could afford Warriors, I guess Tex is going for fast Raveners. Hmm. He'll have another range source then to go along with the Termagants, which could be helpful, because the Watt Spider Exite can just do this at the moment. Just go into melee with your one Termagant squad. Does reasonable melee damage, no specials. He seems to be missing, it's odd. Nice of the Termas actually to take the garrison there, would have been quite annoying if the Spider himself got in there. Is he facing the right direction to shoot? He is. Mm, this is a little bit precarious. Okay, he can get the decap and teleport out fine, I'm sure. He could actually go in the garrison. That would have been probably a better play, to be honest. Would have forced these guys off. Tex has these points, so getting rid of them and taking it with the spider would have been useful. Shuriken could have just stayed on the sides to zone out the horns. Half Tyrant chasing down the Banshees, hoping to proc some specials, maybe kill a model. He needs to get going soon. He's got Hormagants running in, okay. Yeah, I suppose if he got a special, that could have been very deadly for the Banshees with the Hormas coming in. Now oh, he'd got Raveners behind them as well. Didn't notice that they were coming in to support. Still only one gen here for Man of Faith, triple gens for Deimos. And we've got Rangers coming out now, instantly upgrading with their long rifles. Fleeting down to the VP. Really dominant map control, actually, from Tex, rather surprisingly. I really do think the War Spider has a huge advantage early on in this map. Basically, throughout all the tier 1, because of your inability to deal with garrisons as the Tyranids. A lot easier in tier 2. Just use capillary towers. And you kind of don't want to invest too much in shurikens, because rippers will negate them quite a lot in tier 2. At least the rangers will do some good damage to things like tyrant guards. They give you lots of sight range as well. You can poke down Ravenas, especially when they're hiding in cover as well, so... Nice utility from the Rangers, even though they're probably not as effective in Tier 1 as an extra Shuriken. They do scale very well in comparison. Ooh, I'm not sure the Watt Spider wants to go in melee with Ravenas. Ravenas are another sort of hybrid unit, so they've got shorter range than most ranged units. Which can hurt them in cover-to-cover -cover fights, but... To compensate for that, they fire in very quick bursts of damage. Ooh, a little bit of lag there. Um, and they also have pretty decent melee stats. Certainly enough to handle a Watt Spider Exile. But nice flanking and maneuver here. Quite lucky to only lose five farmers. Okay, he lost six, fine. But Gibbs, one of the Shuriken team models, and then moves away. He's got the energy for his Burrow as well. So he's just kiting right now, disrupting the formation. Deimos, and then gonna put it away. Nice. 
Doesn't want any bleed on those banshees, so gonna retreat them out. Here comes the plasma grenade, mostly dodged. I'm gonna take the garrison. What an annoying little set of guardians. Instantly killing the ranger there, which is pretty nice. I guess they started to come out of infiltration a little bit too close to the raveners. Raveners right now under synapse, which is cool. Extra damage resistance for them. Half tank will probably just go into melee here. But yeah, we're now concerned. Ah oh, no, you've got the the heavy gauge death spinner. Combine that with the improved targeters, so you've got really good range on your spider, and you've got also very good DPS. So it's costing Demos quite a bit. So he's kind of on par right now with Tex, even though Tex, in fact, Tex looks like he's he's ahead in eco. Yeah, wow. Tex is way ahead in terms of power. Jeez. And we don't even have the long rifles yet. Damn, Tex is so far ahead in power, it's unbelievable right now. But the Raveners might start bleeding quite a bit to this guy. He does some serious damage with these two war gears. In fact, it is generally considered kind of OP. How much damage he can get in tier 1. Just basic range DPS is kind of nuts. And Tyranids can't really do that much about it. Certainly with this build that Tex has got, he's only got light infantry. Raveners are somewhat robust per model, but they are still light infantry. Infantry armor here, as you can see. Not heavy infantry like the Warriors, so... Pretty awkward. Pretty awkward. We'll have to see if he can get the value out of it. It's certainly an expensive combo. Clearly not got many kills yet. Barely any XP on the guy. Armor's doing their best running around capping the map. I mean, I have to give it to Tex. His map control has been absolutely phenomenal. Really phenomenal. Very difficult to dominate the map like this against a Warp Spider on Green Tooth Gorge. Even with Tyranid numbers and speed. Look at this. A little pincer attacks. Good. Hive Tyrant probably wants to go over and deal with those rangers. I have to admit the Hive Tyrant himself hasn't really achieved much this game. Homer's here probably intentionally being left at three models. Not really much use having them any more than that. Now the Raven has went over this way. Oh, that's a good grenade. Really didn't even get a model. Jesus, that's unlucky for Deimos. Raveners would be very expensive to, re to replace. Now, I suppose they're going to be in base for a while now, but yeah, killing those models definitely would have helped. And a good bit more XP there. Killed a lot of Gaunts, I guess. Oh, they're all fully reinforced now. Yeah, Texas has got a crazy economy. The problem, of course, for the Nids, you see, they do often get this where they get to Tier 2 first, but it's balanced by the fact that they can't just get a Walker vehicle out. Their only vehicle armor is the Tyrant Guard in Shield Wall, where it obviously can't move or attack, so... A lot less threatening if they fast tech against you. I'm curious what Tex is going to be doing for his unit purchase here. Demos now a quarter of the way through his tech to tier 2 himself. I mean, god, Tex has got a crazy amount of resources. Is he, is he just going to go tier 3? No, he could already go tier 3. He might just be waiting to see what Demos goes for, but that's obviously a major mistake. He doesn't realize how far ahead and tech he is. He really should have been purchasing things and putting the pressure on, I think. Running around with three ranged units, honestly, getting the Venom Brood and just giving them ranged synapse wouldn't even be a bad thing. Because it's stopping any vehicle purchases from Demos, and it's also it kind of helps you deal with the Warp Spiders to have your your own um, you run Raveners be higher HP and higher damage, though it's not ideal. This also isn't really ideal. I know they're only 50 requisition out of the capillary tower, but it's still 50 requisition, kind of been wasted right now. Not really achieving a whole lot. So that's a shame. And Tex is indeed going to go tier 3, but really, he could have done that a long time ago, so... Not great management from him there, and this is basically the opportunity now for Demos to come back. Warp Spiders are getting called in by the Global, that's going to help for sure. And Map Control going to slowly be turning against Tex. And this needs to happen for Demos because he is tremendously far behind on VPs. Look at this, he's under 158 already. And Tex hasn't even lost a single VP yet. But the thing is, Can effects can be controlled by the combination of Haywire Grenades, Bright Lance, and a Wraith Lord. Honestly, the Wraith Lords do quite well against Can effects. 
I have to assume he's going to go for counter effects. Now, he is so far ahead in VPs and eco that it might even be worth it just to save up for the Swarm Lord. Swarm Lord is exponentially stronger than a single counter effects. The durability of the Swarm Lord is absolutely nuts. He has more HP even than a form back counter effects, but then he can use that AoE heal and damage ability to do even more. And then you send Rippers with him. And they can constantly reinforce for practically no resources, and they get the speed buff, and it's just a bit ridiculous. If he gets the Swarm Lord, he's basically going to win. So that, that would be the choice here from Tex. Given that he still hasn't seen any vehicles, and in fact he's actually seen spiders now, he knows that a vehicle is going to be quite unlikely. I think it would have been a good choice as well while he was teching to tier 3 to get the Endless Swarm upgrades. Well, actually, he hasn't even got the Adrenal Glands now that I look at these uh, Homogons, so yeah, maybe not. Just keep them default. Gonna run these rippers into base. They did push someone off. Yeah, he's just gonna go for a counterfix. I don't think he realizes quite how far ahead he is in tech. It's still gonna be effective, but it's not like an instant GG like a swarm would probably would be right now. Hmm. Is he watching these homers? No, he's not. That's a homer wipe. Watching Ravenous down here. Not great here from Tex. This is definitely where the comeback can come from. And the Homers go over here, take the natural, two Ravenners going to rotate to the mid, but now there's quite a little blob of Eldar, actually. Yeah, this isn't looking like a good fight for the Ravenners. Remember, they've got no Synapse right now, so they're actually kind of squishy. Now that the Eldar are tier 2 with their leaders and such, they're a lot stronger. These are basically, well, they are entirely tier 1 Ravenners. They've got nothing that makes them stronger than the tier 1 version. These are not tier 1 Guardians with the Warlock, they're a lot better. But here comes the Carnifex. It has to be a form back, I would imagine. I mean, you could go for a Barb Strangler, but... Man, the Barb Strangler is going to get wrecked by Wraith Lord is the problem, and that would be just such an obvious play then for Deimos to counter it. Yeah, you got to go form back. There's only one Shuriken. So that shouldn't be able to deal with a form back, even if it gets a Bright Lance. So we'll see, we'll see. Basically a mass retreat here from Deimos. Hive Tyrant nearly caught out the Watt Spider. I've got to say again, Hive Tyrant basically hasn't done anything this game. I suppose that could be a reason to go for the Barb Strangler. You could bait the enemy into getting the, the Wraith Lord to counter your Barb Strangler can effects. And then you could go for a Venom Brood with ranged synapse to buff your Raveners and Termas. And then you could go for the Venom Cannon on the Hive Tyrant. You could even go for the Crushing Claws and the Bonded Exoskeleton. Just make him a bit of a melee for it. I don't know. I guess that could also have worked, but we'll see how the farm back does. The farm back obviously will 1v1 the Wraith Lord quite easily, but it's never going to be a 1v1. There's spiders to haywire this thing, do a little bit of spike damage, stop it attacking for a while. Banshees can contribute a little bit with their Exarch here, but obviously there's a Bright Lance as well. Bright Lance is already on the field. So Tex is going to have to get some alternative AV as well. He obviously can't be relying on a counter effects to kill a Wraith Lord. Both the Wraith Lord and the counter effects won't really hurt one another very much because of the melee resist. But the Wraith Lord actually will do significant damage with its shoulder mounted Bright Lance if it can get it. But to be fair, Deimos is nowhere near getting a Wraith Lord anyway. Now what am I talking about? He's already got it out. <laughs> That's why. Uh, we've got the crack shot used on the Bright Lance. Wow. Can effects taking an absurd amount of damage right now. So this is a 30% damage increase and range increase, and now you've got a bright lance on the rear floor as well. Yeah, great. So Fombat's gonna be forced to charge out. Hey Y grenade. Didn't even go off there. A little bit late there from Demos with the teleport in. Uh why is it rotating? This is not a good idea. Oh my gosh. And again, still doesn't throw the haywire. What the heck, Demos? What are you doing? Yeah, he needs to get the counter effects in the base. I'm pretty sure with the healing and the damage resistance from the base, the counter effects can just tank this Ray Lord all day. Yeah. But there's no ranged AV. Why is he not getting the Venom Cannon on the Hive Turret? I don't know. That thing even has fire on the move, which is pretty incredible. We did go for a Lictor. I mean, that's going to be good to ambush the Bright Lance in the back. Uh, they must not really paying attention. Might even lose this damn thing right now. There's Flesh Oak as well. Oh, it's dead. It is dead. Didn't even need the Flesh Oak. Holy shit. Yeah, damage on the tier 3 Lictor is pretty damn good. Pretty damn good.
going to infiltrate and get on that VP, exploiting its 50% extra cap speed. And look at that, it does get it. Obviously it needs to retreat. Oh, no it doesn't. Yeah, leap. Very nice. Beautiful lick to play here from Tex. Going to stay on the field. Rangers are detecting it, mind you. Slick, so one of the beautiful things with it is that it doesn't actually spend any energy to infiltrate. Just when it infiltrates, it can't regain energy, which it needs for flesh hook and jumps. But it allows it to infiltrate a hell of a lot more than other units can. Very sneaky boy. There you go, you got the Venom Cannon at last. Kind of awkward that he's just suddenly zoned on the sidelines, mind you. And we've got melee ravs. Double melee ravs, what on earth? Okay, we need to get some Adrenal Gland Warrior Brood then in that case. It's quite an odd decision. But okay. I mean, you are Tyranid. Oh, he just missed the cap. I thought he'd actually got the cap then as well. Hmm. Not much support here for the Ray Flood. Needs to get out. So I want to take the 1v1 against the fix and the Watts Better Exact managed to force off the Hive Tyrant now we've got Fire Dragons man this is a lot of units coming out from Deimos without number more Gaunts on the field just trying to overwhelm Deimos and take the map I imagine is the plan here I feel like in a big army versus army fight, Demos has got no chance to be honest. There's just so many units for the Nids. And so many ranged units for Demos as well. I'm just going to get overwhelmed by the melee spam. This is weird how like everything in the army is put going backwards just to deal with these Homers. That was a bit of a, a mess, messy sort of engagement there. Probably should have had the Banshees in this location. Wow, he gets the kill with the grenade in retreat. Nice. I really didn't think that was going to do it. I thought one of those models would have got out there but a big distraction like I said all the units blobbing up here it's meant that Victor snuck in over here we've got burrowing raveners moving around I don't know why the hive tyrant isn't capping the mid because Texas micro at this point has been rather challenged Termagant's not really achieving a whole lot over here crack shot using the spiders are just gonna rip through gaunts in literally seconds Range is not really doing a whole lot here, but it's been odd. There's not been any Tyrant Guards, there's not been any of the Synapse creatures which are generally their main targets. And this is very awkward. This is the garrisons, man, they're so annoying. Needs to get some spawn mines over here to deal with the damn Watt Spider. It's going to be very painful trying to take these points. I mean, he's holding them with the melee units there, but it's just potential for bleed. A couple of Watt Spider models, looks like they fell over here to the Fex. And the Gaunt's going to come back out and take this location. The Fex doesn't really want to go into the mid on its own. Where's the HT gone? Hive Tyrant's been forced off again. Hive Tyrant honestly really has achieved nothing here with this Venom Brood. Uh, sorry, it's Venom Cannon. I'm not sure about this Ravna. Brood combo at the top. I feel like they're just idle and not really achieving a whole lot. Uh, Lictor needs to get out and tie up the Fire Dragons. I don't know what the Rippers are doing in melee with Banshees. They should be dealing with the Fire Dragons. Charges out. Where are the Raveners? Oh, Raveners just ripping apart the Rangers. Cool. That's one Ranger dead. There is another squad going to the east, mind you. Beautiful thing here with the Venom Cannon. You've got that fire on the move. Unfortunately, focusing on Guardians right now, which is not really great, but, uh... Termas flanking. And Ravenous flanking. That's the more scary part. Bonded exoskeleton. No, I think this Rayflaw's dead now. Because Hive Tyrant can turn around and chase it down with that fire on the move Venom Cannon. Very strong. Beautiful bitch slap from the Rayflaw. It's so good with special attacks. I don't know what's going on here. Texas Micro falling apart. Getting his half turning into melee, but it doesn't matter. Carnifex slays the Rear Flood in the end. Carnifex level 2 right now. Pretty great for it. More HP regen. More max HP is the most important thing, I suppose. And yeah, double melee Raven is putting in work there. Wiped from the Rangers. Got a lot of bleed on the retreating units as well. 
honestly, I'd have gone for a, a warrior brood of adrenal glands, but yeah, he's got the power, he's going to go for another kind of X. Man, the pullback strength on this flesh hook from the tier 3 Lictor is absolutely nuts. To think that the Lictor Alpha Hero had a flesh hook that strong at one point is just fucking bonkers. It's so ridiculously good. Man, look at the can effects. Nearly killing the Watt Spider x act there. Honestly, if at level 3, that would have been a kill. This is actually kind of a bad situation, though. Fire Dragon is chasing it down. We've got potential crack shot on the Fire Dragons as well. Doesn't seem to have used it, just the ability from the x act. Has the charge been used? I was going to say no, it hasn't. Can use it there to disengage. Gets the decap on the natural then. VP's looking pretty bad now for... Kind of both players, but particularly Deimos. 90 VPs for Deimos, 186 Silver Man of Faith, Venom Cannon can't affect. Can't affect. Hive Tyrant going to be going into melee here with the FDs. Can't knock them around though, thanks to that Dragon Scale armor that they've got. But a nice play there from the Lictor getting into melee with the Spiders. Probably going to have to retreat now though. Is this the second form back? Yeah, it is. Alright, yep. Just to overwhelm the enemy with melee, that seems to be the... Name of the game for Tex today. Now we can save up and swap out that Venom Cannon for a Crushing Claw and he'll have a nice versatile Hive Tyrant to play with. Especially with that bonding next to Skeleton and giving him the much needed durability. Perhaps got to get out. Their buddy's coming in for a little burrow. But they've already caught the point here as Deimos so this is not very productive. Yeah Ravs you need to get out of there lads. In the middle. What was that? Was that a ranger squad gobbled up by the Fex in retreat? Can't even see. Yep, that's the rangers wiped. Snuck in and tried to get onto that VP. They did catch the VP, so you know, that's something. What Spider X Ack himself over here? Oh, yes, disrupted by a special attack from the Hive Tyrant. Bit of a bugged animation because we came late to watching it. A uh, little bit of a mistake from Tex to not get on the point when that happened. Obviously, he's paying attention down here with his Fex. Got the other can effects coming out now as well. Oh, he did get the spider off the point. Oh, did he just... Yeah, he swapped out to Crushing Claws. Yeah, he'll start doing some crazy damage with that. Rippers are actually going to be productive here. Go over to the Bright Lance. It is crack-shotted, which is pretty spooky. Look at this, just replaces the unhealthy one with a, with a healthy one. That's rather awkward. Lictor should just be getting on the point. What it's doing at this point. Lictor. Thank you. Can effects can distract. Probably doesn't need to be pushing quite this deep. Double term is wrecked over here by Guardians is a bit strange. Must have been like a really nice plasma grenade, I suppose. But yeah, it can't even take the natural. Hmm. Is Damus gonna win this? Raveners coming out to deal with it. I, I'm not sure the Raveners were that great in melee. Nice kill there on the Fire Dragon Exarch. Keep them tied up. So they can't do that damage to the Fex. But now you've got to retreat. Yeah, certainly with the Banshees in play. It doesn't retreat them. Banshees potentially getting the kill. But most of them knocked over by the jump there. They're trying to chase him down with the fleet of foot. Fire Dragon's still in play to deal with the can effects. And is that going to be? Yes! Too late on the Crippling Poison. Banshees get the sink kill on the Lictor. Guardians trying to force cap their way through the mid. What's this Autak doing? Autak dropped in down here just to compete with the Raveners, I guess, over the VP. I'm not sure they... I'm not sure who wins that fight. Given level 3 Raveners, I would assume they win the fight against the Autak. And look at this, another crack shot. Bright Lance in the back. No Rippers. Where are the Rippers? Tex kind of messing up here by not spawning in more rippers earlier. Yeah, Fire Dragon has just managed to grab that Carnifex and kill it before they get tied up by the rippers. Very nice. I think that was an aggressive charge on the Bright Lance there. Real problem though is the VPs. Force off the Bright Lance. Lot Spiders getting wrecked in melee. The player's micro right now being really tested. They must lose his spiders. Fire Dragon's tied up by Rippers as well. It's pretty good to see, and Tex owns this VP. Yeah, I don't think... I think Tex has got this now. Deimos has lost a lot of units scrapping right there. Hive Tyrant's still in play. 
two pretty poor on upgrades. It's kind of like a mini walker just with these two upgrades. And kind of interesting to see all the without number usage from Tex actually. It was quite effective. I was just going to say, could have Tyranniformationed this area a long time ago. Holy shit! Did he just kill his entire Homegot squad? So he did! <laughs> but it doesn't matter. He's pushed Deimos off the field. Deimos obviously no VPs at this point. It's literally impossible for him to cap those VPs and win. Lost his spider over here to these Raveners. Interesting to see the double melee Raveners without any melee synapse. Quite weird. But yeah, he really overwhelmed his opponent there with melee, which is honestly nuts given its green tooth gorge of all the garrisons. It should be one of the worst maps to do that on, but there you go. That's Tex and his hive mind. Hope you enjoyed that one. That's going to be all from you, boy Topid. This time I am signing out.